Well, welcome to my table. I want to share with you something that uh, came from my quiet time this week. I want to talk about breaking bread. It was a common Christian practice in the New Testament. We see it in the book of Acts, chapter 2. Believers got together from house to house and they broke bread. They ate and fellowshiped together. We're seeing in our culture and generation this happening less and less, and not just within the Christian community, but even within homes. Families are not getting together at the dinner table and eating together. This tradition didn't begin with the early church. No, they learned it from Jesus himself, who throughout all the gospels, we see him coming into homes, sitting down at the table, sharing a meal in a a time of fellowship with people, individuals, who had amazing encounters with him. He was always eating with people. We see him at a wedding, we see him in homes. There was a time that he fed 5,000, on another occasion, 4,000. It was a common practice of his. Something else that was a common practice as a result of that breaking bread was giving thanks. They went hand in hand in his life. And maybe because we get together less, and that's a diminishing tradition, this, this tradition of giving thanks, I believe, is slipping away within the Christian community and the Christian home, and it's, it's heartbreaking, really. We call it giving thanks, returning thanks, saying grace. Whatever you and your family call it, it's something that we don't need to let slip away in our lives. I did some calculating this week. I'm 46, almost 47, and if you, if you consider three meals a day, that's over 50,000 meals I've eaten in my lifetime, probably a lot more. Every one of those meals is a moment, a time to stop, to thank the Lord who has blessed me physically, providing food for the table and spiritually, for he is my spiritual substance as well. He's the bread of life, the living water. And in my quiet time this week, I, I was reading in Luke chapter 24, Two men were walking down the road uh, to a city called Emmaus after Jesus' resurrection. And Jesus came up to them, but they didn't recognize him. And he had a conversation with them. And as they got closer to where they were, he made as if he was going to continue on. And the two disciples encouraged him to come and, and, and stay with them. And it was at the table when he broke the bread and he gave thanks that the disciples recognized who he was. It was at that moment that they knew it was Jesus. And I wonder today how many moments are Christians missing? How many moments are families missing as they come together at the table and fail to invite our Lord there by saying grace, by giving thanks, by taking a moment to bow and to pray. I wonder at restaurants how often Jesus would want to reveal himself or remind others around. But Christians fail to take that moment. It's a moment of grace, it's a moment of thanks, but it's also a moment of revelation, a time for the Lord to reveal himself to us in a fresh, new, and exciting way. So I want to encourage you, don't let this tradition of breaking bread slip from your home and from your, your, your circle of influence, but more importantly, don't let the blessing giving thanks, saying grace, slip away either. Let's make sure that as we come together at the table, we take a moment to bow our heads 
to close our eyes and once more invite Jesus to the table and see how he might desire to reveal himself to us again through his grace, with his blessing, by his presence. Amen.